A circle is inside a square. The radius of the circle is increasing at a rate of 3 meters per hour, and the sides of the square are increasing at a rate of 1 meter per hour. When the radius is 5 meters and the sides are 19 meters, then how fast is the area outside the circle but inside the square changing? This is a wonderful geometry problem that we can apply related rates to. Let's start by drawing a diagram to see what, exactly what's going on. So we have a circle and it's sitting inside a square. So let me draw a square and then let me draw a circle around it. And the thing is this circle has a radius that's increasing at a rate of three meters per second. So the circle has a radius that's increasing and the square also has sides that are increasing. So the squares are also increasing. So let's also label this guy with a variable. So because the radius and the sides of the square are both increasing, I put variables on them to designate that they're going to be changing and flexible. So when the radius is 5 meters and the sides are 19 meters, then how fast is the area outside the circle but inside the square changing? So then we also have to shade in right here to draw attention to the area that's outside the circle but inside the square. And that is another thing that's changing, of course, because as the sides change, that area between the two are also going to change. So where do we begin and what do we do now that we have a picture and an understanding of what's going on? Well, the first thing I like to do is write down all of the basic pieces of information. And specifically, I like to look for what I like to write down what I'm looking for. That is, how fast is the area outside the circle but inside the square changing? So what I'm looking for is that shaded area and I want to know how fast is it changing so that means that I have a rate going on, right? So in fact, the area rate is what I'm talking about. The rate of change of the area over time is actually what we're looking for. And we're looking for it at a specific moment. And that is the moment. So we're looking for this at the specific moment when the radius or R is 5 meters and the sides of the square, or x, is 19 meters. So at the moment in time when the radius is 5 meters and the sides of the square are 19 meters, we then want to capture how fast the area is changing. There's a little bit more information that I can write down. I'm given that the radius of the circle is increasing at a rate of 3 meters per hour. So the radius is increasing. And how do we designate the radius increasing or changing at a rate? That's the dr dt. The rate at which the radius is changing is 3 meters per hour. And in addition, the sides of the square are increasing at a rate of 1 meter per hour or dx dt, the rate of change of the sides of the square, is 1 meter per hour. So now I think I've written down all the information in my problem. I think I'm ready to go about actually getting an equation and taking the derivative with respect to time. What formula is going to describe that shaded area? Well, we can represent that area by the area of a square, if we think about it, right? It's the area of a square with a hole or a circle taken out. In other words, I think I can express that area as area equals the area of the square, which is x squared, take away or minus the area of the circle inside, which would be pi r squared. That's our formula. And what do we do once we have our formula? Well, if we're talking about relating rates together, then we take the derivative 
on both sides of the equation with respect to time. So I'm going to take the derivative of the left side, and I'm going to take the derivative of the right side, both with respect to time. On the left, I have that the derivative of the area with respect to time is equal to, and on the right side, I have 2x dx dt minus 2 pi r dr dt. Now what do we do? Well, we are looking for dA dt, right? We're looking for the rate of change of the area. And I have it all set up right here. The rate of the change of the area is 2 times x times the derivative of x with respect to time minus 2 pi r times the derivative of r with respect to time. And it looks like by taking a look over at my information, I have all of these elements. So it's simply a substitution problem from here. In place of x, we're going to put 19 because that's the specific moment. dx dt is 1. r is given to be 5. And dr dt is given to be 3. And so that means that the rate at which the area is changing is equal to 38 minus 30 pi. And area, how does that change? That changes in square meters per hour. That's it.